artistry and today I'm going to show you how to make a flat plate mould to make a flat plate prosthetic just like this. As you can tell I've done a horn but it's up to you what you want to sculpt. You could do anything like cuts or using objects to sculpt with or cheekbones. It's completely down to you as long as it's going on a surface of your skin that is flat like a cheek or a forehead. So let's get started. First of all, you will need a flat board, some sulfur free clay, some sculpting tools, a sponge and some lighter fluid. A hot glue gun, some plastic cups, spoons and stirrers, some silicon, I use the Mold Life Pro Gel 10 but you can use Plat Seal 25 or Plat Seal 10. Some silicon hardener and deadener. Some petroleum jelly or Vaseline. Some bold cap plastic. I used boldies with acetone, but you can use super boldies with IPA. A brush and a pot. Some silicon pigment and some cotton buds. The first part is to sculpt whatever you want your prosthetic to look like. So I'm doing a horn which I softened the clay up and made it into little sausages, which is easier to sculpt with. Whatever you're going to be sculpting, you need to make sure that it is going to be flat to the surface. This way it will blend into the skin better. You will also need to make sure that you have no undercuts within your sculpt. Here I am just using a tool to make sure that it is flat to the surface and soft and I'm using lighter fluid and adding texture to my sculpt. Once you have finished your sculpt and you're happy with how it looks, you need to add a wedging. This is what I am doing here, ensuring you have enough space around the sculpt for your edges. The wedging is the excess material of the silicon and this is what it should look like. Next you need to create a wall, which I used a plastic cut, but you could even use foam board. I used a hot glue gun to stick down my cup as a wall and then went around the edges to ensure that the silicon won't leak out. You also need to make sure if you're using anything else like foam board that it's waterproof. Then leave it to dry. This next part is the silicon negative mould. I labelled my cups A, B and H to ensure they don't get muddled up and then I started weighing out my parts. A and B need to be exactly the same weight. The hardener can be anything up to A and B together. So if A was 10 grams and B was 10 grams, then the hardener can be up to 20 grams. As you can probably tell by the name, the hardener hardens the silicon. I added some blue pigment and then added part A and part B to the hardener and gave it a good mix. Once my silicon is thoroughly mixed together, I poured it from height over my sculpt. This avoids any air bubbles. Then let it cure for around an hour. So this is what it looks like once it has cured. This is the negative mould and I'm just cleaning it with a tool and some lighter fluid. Next part is the cap plastic. I Vaseline my mould first to avoid the silicon sticking to itself. And mix some boldies and some acetone until it's like a gloopy texture. And done a layer all over my mould. And then waited for it to dry and then done another two. Once the cat plastic has dried, it's now time to make the prosthetic. Due to the tiny amount of silicon I'm making, I just used one cup. Using the same technique as the mould, mixing part A and part B as equal parts, and then the hardener. I only used hardener because I wanted the wedging to be hard and the actual horn. I then did the exact the same process, but this time I used deadener instead of hardener to make more of a skin-like texture for where it's going to blend into the skin. I also used this silicon pigment, which is like a flesh tone colour. 
Then scraped the excess and cleaned up the edges with the cotton bud. I left it to cure for around an hour and then it was time to powder it and remove it from its mould. For this I just used a translucent powder and a fluffy brush. And this is what it looks like. You can colour it with IPA and a skin illustrator palette and apply it to your skin using Prosade and acetone to blend out the edges. And this is the finished piece. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.